It is a truth universally acknowledged that every now and again a situation arises that defies explanation. And so it was with the ascension of the Third Street Saints. When the Saints made their presence known to the world in 2006, they were decried for being pretenders to the throne. The people were confused. Were the Saints sociopathic killing machines hell-bent on destruction? Or puckish rogues living a life of mirth and whimsy? The Saints needed clarity of purpose, and so the course was set. More fun, less mercy killing. This simple choice revitalized the Saints, transforming them from a degenerate street gang into beloved pop culture icons. But even then, the Saints were not satisfied. For it's one thing to be revered as a hero, it is another to be a hero. And that, my friends, is where our journey begins. being a setup. It's not a setup. The intel is good. You trust this lady? Asha's one of the good guys. Only knows her from the KGB days. Oh, she's tied with the KGB. I feel a lot better. Look, Bert and I work with her too. She's fine. Oh yeah, I'm sure she's great at putting someone in a fucking body bag. That doesn't mean we should... behind schedule we need to move you're a real people person aren't you i'm sorry is this a counter-terrorist operation or a saint's flow shoot i'm shy asher odakar follow me business we know what's at stake do you look lady this motherfucker knows how to get shit done don't you worry about me what's security my tech guy bought us a 10 minute window if we move fast we'll only need to worry about the guards on foot how many of those are there don't know about the numbers inside but there are about eight marching the perimeter on my signal we is not really our thing. Come on, this way. Base, are you there? What are we walking into? The intelligence I'm looking at suggests... Hold on. Hide, truck on its way. agent of MI6 and a key member of our operation. And the fact that he tried to kill us. What's past is past. We are all working together now. Let's focus on the job. As I was saying... Hold that thought, Matt. Guards ahead. <laughs> Matt, you were saying? The nuke is stashed deep in the compound. It's likely primed and 
and ready to go. Getting booted from the U.S. sent Cyrus Temple off the deep end, but teaming up with terrorists? Seriously? Cyrus has soldiers everywhere, so be alert. Personal. Why would? I should have killed you and Steve Lord. Or maybe take it personal. Shit! Our site's bombing the compound. Oh, wait a minute, we're still in here. I'm not dropping the bomb. Just get them to stop. I'll do what I can, but work quickly. What the fuck? Where to now then? Don't swear. I got you. This way, people. Every mission has its bumps. Bump? You call that a bump? You're alive, aren't you? That's good. This is a problem. It's not a problem. You alienated part of America. I alienated crazy people. You couldn't resist, could you? Jesus, not you two. This is a problem. I keep trying to explain that, but the president won't listen. Poverty is a problem. Apartheid is a problem. This, this is just a couple of... Here's the latest approval poll. We lost 20 points. We can get them back. They're at 20 points. I'll admit that's a little lower than anticipated. So you agree you have a problem? Nope, you do. You're the communications director. Fix this. Can you give me 100% employment? No. Will you get married? Fuck no. Then I'm thinking you're in trouble. King, can you have this naysayer assassinated? Not when you say it publicly. I'm more fun as a gang leader. We have a country to run. 
Fun isn't part of the equation. Where's a septic truck when you need one? Come on, Keith, have some good news. He's scheduled a press conference for this early in the morning. Listen, we've got enough clout right now for one major bill, not both. What do you want me to push forward? Do you want to be the president who cured cancer or the president who solved world hunger? Well, cancer had a good run, but it's time to put it down. Good choice. I hope Kenzie's keeping the sharks at bay. Now, you listen here. If you think you can cram your agenda past Congress, you are in for a rude awakening. You hear me? Now, let me tell you a little something about the greatest word in politics. Filibuster. Allow me to retort. Hey, Doris, we still down for tennis? Oleg and I are about to head over to Camp David to watch some Nightblade. Yep. You down? Yeah, I'll catch you later, Josh. I'm your number one fan! <laughs> nice work, Oleg. President's words were taken out of context. Kinsey, what's the right context for? And I quote, I'm the patron saint of America. We should probably look into changing the Pledge of Allegiance to one nation under me. That's a great question. Jane? I think we have a problem. No, not you two. How many times do I have Asha to- Asha and Miller are waiting for you in the Oval Office. If MI6 needed something, they would send it at the chain, not fly across an ocean. They said nobody back home believes them. Jesus, what's going on? They think we're about to be attacked by aliens. I gotta go. This is serious. You know that Kinsey's been saying the same thing. When did you start taking Kinsey seriously? When the people who helped us save the world said we should. All right, I'll swing by after I... <laughs> Salvation within the Zin Empire. I'm smarter than all these people. Delightful. Kenzie, no! <laughs> Protect the president! I do love your spirit, my dear. I'm Zinyak. Pleasure to meet you. Would you like to join me for a ride? should have a gun every five steps. Every five steps, I said. There you are. Thank God you're all right. You okay? Where's Matt? Upstairs, trying to find out what's happening. What is happening? All our war, by the looks of it. I'm meeting up with Matt. I'll be in touch via comm. Be careful. What the fuck? Keith! Oh, damn it! Just like Johnny taught me. I've trained for this! Shit, what the fuck is going on? Here, spin! We gotta move! Shit, player! Save yourself! Fuck that! Save me! Remember, people are I'm trained for this! 
Enjoy leaping so much. Get off my lawn, you son of a bitch! Did you? Well, hello there. Welcome aboard. You have acquired this, you fuck. Now, now. Not so far. Sent him away. Ooh, I wonder what's going on in the world today. You ready to meet the fine people of Steelport? Well, <laughs> get in the car. Uh, don't I usually drive? It's your world. Go ahead.
do have a queer sense of humor. Why does this all look so weird? Now, what's that you say? Something's wrong. This is all... Can't wait to get out to the lake this weekend. I hear the fish are really biting. The fish are... What are you talking about? Don't you worry now. We're almost there. Come on. Well, I think there's something wrong with this car. Oh, my stars. It's the president. Hi, Howard. What the... F we don't use that kind of language here in Steelport. going on? Where the f*** am I? Hello? Hello? Kenzie? Kenzie, where are you? Oh, finally! Listen to me. No time to explain, but you have to break free. Break free? From, from what? The place you're in isn't real. Whatever it's having you do, you need to stop. I'm driving a car. Okay, good. There's a park nearby. Head there and give me a sec. <laughs> Brace yourself. Brace for... Whoa, my God! I need some more time before I can get you out. It'd be really helpful if you could just, you know, just be you. Be me? The simulation is all about me and Missy. Pleasantry, order, all the things you hate. Go forth, unleash hell. Keep it up! The simulation is resisting, but just keep going! You need to do more. Bigger! Hold on, I'm sending you something. Find the cat fountain. I left you a present. Jeepers, this is peachy. Better you than me. You're doing great. The simulation is... Oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a what? What's going on? Couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? to push and push and push. I hope you've enjoyed your last moments. I'm impressed. Where the hell are... Fuck me. I should have realized a prison of peace would never hold a sociopath like yourself. I'm more of a puckish rogue. A rose by any other name. Are you trying to kill me or sleep with me? Charming. See, there you go with those mixed messages again. Then allow me to be perfectly clear. I am the architect of your reality. I build what I want. I destroy what I want. And your bravado means
onto more pleasant things. I'm going to place you in your new home. Try to run again, and I'll destroy your pitiful planet. Did you ever? My friends, each of you are guilty of crimes against the Zin Empire. But today is your lucky day. Today, you get to be a part of a new work release program. Swear your fealty. And I will empower you to be Wardens of Simulation 31. You will have one purpose. Torment the President of the United States. Beyond that, the world is yours to toy with. Ravage it. Indulge in your basest desire. It makes no difference to me. Just leave the prisoner alive. I want them broken. Not dead. Go now, and tear their world asunder. Oh, head rush. Where am I? Come in, President. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, and how the hell am I hearing you? I don't have a phone on me. I just patched myself into your simulation and projected my voice through the audio system. You should be able to hear me from anywhere. And you don't have to yell. Okay, because that's not a little creepy. Kinsey, I'm unarmed here. How about get me out? Can't do that until I backtrace your signal to your physical body. Until then, you're stuck there, so you might want to go buy a gun. Right. Friendly fire it is. Shit, where's the new store again? Uh, set your GPS from the map in your hub. Hub? It's like a digital information pad. You know, like those mobile devices all the kids have these days? Cool. Can I play games on it? No. You... you will be able to get me out of here, right? Eventually. I'm still trying to figure out the Zen systems. Basic hacks like hooking into the audio system isn't hard. Trying to disconnect you and find your body, that's a bit more involved. And changing me out of these ridiculous clothes isn't a basic hack? On my list of priorities, that doesn't even make my top 500. If you were wearing this, I'm sure you'd up that priority. If I was wearing that, I'd be asking you to shoot me in the head. You think the whole White House was destroyed? I don't know. Maybe. Why? I was thinking if it was, we could get Ultor to rebuild it. You know, add more defenses, more weapons, a few other jet hangers. Are you serious? Well, maybe in a few more stripper poles in the bedrooms. More? You already had some stripper poles? I had one installed like the first day I was in office. <laughs> wow. So now what? I just keep my head down until you can pull me out of this place? Not yet. There's a Zim Patrol close to you that'll need to be cleared out before that happens. That is, if the President's up for killing a few more aliens. Why, thank you, Miss Press Secretary. That sounds like a perfect idea. What can I say? I'm good at my job. Hey, you're just not good at subtle. True. Uh, Kinsey? All your stuff's gone. What? Damn it! Zinyak removed all signs of the Saints from the simulation. That means... There's no more safe houses for us in the city. Right. So, what do we do about that? Hmm. Not sure yet. Though any help you can give with gathering information on systems in the simulation would be useful. I'll leave any tasks I have for you in the quest section of your hub. Got it. Anything else? Just hang in there. I promise I'll find a way to get you out. And the sooner the better. These data clusters seem to be loose bits of code left behind by the simulation for some reason. I've only been able to locate a small amount right now, which I'm having trouble locking onto. Once in the general area of a cluster, I should be able to direct you to its location. Kinsey, why are you sending me after these things, and where exactly are they? I'm still trying to figure out precisely what they are, but they seem like they'll be useful. There are several near my warehouse. I can't pinpoint their exact locations, but I marked the general areas for you. Um, okay... I think I got one, Kenzie. You sure this thing's safe? Safe-ish. Just keep getting them. Oh, I love this song. Come on, Kenzie, sing it with me. No, I don't think so. Oh, come on! I'll even let you be the cat. Not gonna happen. We come together. Now your turn, come on. And you know it ain't fiction. Come on! No. Kenzie, that's an order from your president. Fuck that. This is why we aren't closer. Alright, 
got another. This data is amazing. Incomplete, but amazing. I know I'm gonna regret this, but how is it amazing? It seems that anything that broke the normal rules of the simulation deposited loose data that can be incorporated into your programming. Huh. I actually kind of understand that. But since the data is so fragmented, it doesn't leave behind a complete subroutine to loop into your code base. Nope. Never mind, you're talking gibberish again. Ugh. It's simple. The more clusters you get, the more you can upgrade and alter your abilities. Ah, we're talking the same language. So, three of these enough? Still missing some key fragments. Get one more and we'll see. So, if these data thingies... Ugh. Clusters. Fine, clusters. If they can be so useful, then why isn't Zenyak sending his people out to collect them? Why would they need them? To give his people a boost or something. I don't know, you're the one who says they're amazing. If Zenyak wants to change the code for his people, he can just... He wrote the simulation! Yeah, but what about keeping us from... You know what? N never mind. I'm just gonna accept this and move on. Probably better that way. Holy shit! Zenyak destroyed my apartment! Ugh. That place should have been condemned a long time ago. Well, I always thought it had character. That should be enough. Let's see what I can do here. Check your home. This feels awesome! Here, let me load up a training program for you to test your powers. What am I supposed to do in here? The code says you can jump long distances and run at super high speeds. How about starting with a small jump? Okay, try focusing on charging your jump. That should get you higher. the hell am I supposed to jump up that? Try pushing off from the wall each jump. I can climb walls? It'd be more accurate to say you can jump up them repeatedly. Same difference. Okay, now for the big test. Use your super speed to get a running start and leap to that opposite building. Oh, you gotta be joking. Just try it. See? You did it! Fun! But I want something more challenging. Good! Because I found a race subroutine already in the city. Perfect. I think I figured out how this works. Run along the path collecting the power orbs, which should boost your new speed. Every time you hit a checkpoint, you'll be able to stay in the program a bit longer so you can reach the end. Though you probably want to avoid the firewalls along the way. Good luck. Construct me the door that'll allow your mind to get out of the simulation and back into your body. Head toward it. Got it. Fill me in, Kenzie. What do we know about the Zen invasion? The good news is they didn't get everybody. Just a whole bunch of people. According to what I've been able to decipher, the simulation is designed to house the best and the brightest specimens from various worlds. The best and brightest from an entire planet? How big is this thing? Big. But they haven't gotten to all of Earth yet. Just the major cities. Last I heard, Oleg was up at Camp David. That area doesn't look like it's been hit yet. Okay, so we got people left on Earth. Good to know. Once you're free from the simulation, it can sever your connection to the Zin Matrix. This will allow me to retrieve your body here in the real world without you suffering permanent brain damage. Where, where am I in the real world? Like, what are they doing to my body? In a safe place. Once you're free, I'll pick you up at the landing platform. Ugh, I'm probably gonna be late for my... Kenzie, door's locked. Wrong door. Oh, nicely done. Well, that didn't go terrible. Can you quit being a baby and just walk in? Look, lady, we're doing this in my time.
Kenzie. Kenzie. Oh, where the hell? Oh, I feel like a toilet at a bus stop. Kinsey. Getting us out of here. Gee, Kinsey, thanks for saving my life. Why, thanks, boss. I love being appreciated. Boss, I'm the president now. When did you turn into such a jerk? Surprise, Kinsey. I've always been an asshole. Thank you. I mean it. You're not wearing pants. This just got weird. A little bit. Can I fly now? Knock yourself out. Wait a minute. You saved Keith David before me. I, uh, passed by him on the way out. Well, how did you get out? But let's just focus on flying, shall we? You're right. Kids, this thing have a radio? Radio signals bounce around space what for- is love? Oh, yeah! This is my jam! Don't hurt me no more. Wait a minute. You saved Keith David before me? I, uh, passed by him on the way out. Well, how did you get out? But let's just focus on flying, shall we? You're right. Kinsey, this thing have a radio? Radio signals bounce around space for- Oh yeah! This is my jam! Don't hurt me! We're not really leaving the others, are we? Hell no. But if we're taking the fight to Zinyak, we'll need all the help we can get. Kinsey, can you get in touch with Oleg? Yeah, we should be in range. Huh. 
I always thought Nightblade was just a vampire show. Oh no, my friend. It is the essence of drama. Hey, you need to take that? You know anyone with the 217 area code? Is that St. Louis? Mm, probably tell Marco. Oof. Ignore. Voicemail? You want me to leave a message? Uh, <laughs> Killed seven billion people. Whoops. We're done talking. He's not getting away with this. You're goddamn right he's not. Kinsey, can you use this thing to place me back in the simulation? Yeah, I think I should be able to. Do it. Wait, you want to go back in there? You can't kill Zinyak plugged into a computer. I can kill a lot of people with a computer. You? Sure. You need help setting the DVR. If taking over a small part of the simulation led you to me, taking over the whole damn thing has to do something good. You don't even know what will happen. She probably does. The president is right. Whenever the simulation is disrupted, I have a small window to work my way inside the Zim security network. The more it's disrupted, the more time I'll have to map out Zimyak's mothership. I can identify structural weakness, locate where they're keeping our friends... And find Zimyak. Yeah. All right, let's do this. When historians look back on the fall of the Zin Empire, this will be the defining moment. An act that was supposed to demoralize, galvanized. And a course was set that the Saints could never back down from. But even more monumental is this. If the Earth was not destroyed, pragmatism would have won over desperation. And the Saints would never have been reunited with the most dangerous man in all of history. Johnny Gat. But ever as always, I'm getting ahead of myself. Like all good stories, the second act begins with a call to action and the building of a robot. will wreak havoc on all the Zin systems and help us locate our friends. There's plenty you can do to overload, disrupt, and generally break the whole damn thing, so let's start small. I know hacking stores seems trivial, but it's a good place for us to begin. All right, get moving. I think it'd be best to start at... Planet Zin. If I'm gonna work to take a store back from Zinyak, that's where I'm going first. Okay, good point. Planet Zin? Jeez, who names a store after themselves? So you should be able to hack it from right outside the door. Good luck. <laughs> Kenzie's job is easy. Is this shit? Oops, you must have tripped the security alarm. This is gonna happen every time. I think I can cut off the outside security program from the rest of the stores, so no, it shouldn't happen again. Good. Should I be running now? Uh, um, no, wait, don't. I want to see how their reaction protocols work. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Just let me get shot at for you. Wine, wine, wine. Ah, uh, doesn't anyone learn? Whoa. Did you see that, Kenzie? What? The cops just transformed into Zen. Looks like they're stepping up security even more. Be careful. Shit, now Zen are dropping in from the sky. Hey! That's fucking cheating! Those are access portals. We should be able to destroy them to stop more soldiers from showing up. Good! Hold on. Look at that gold floating robot thing. I think it's controlling the security program here. Yeah, so? So if you catch the golden orb and shut it down, then the Zin should no longer see you as an immediate threat. Catch the golden orb? Do I get points for that? Uh, no. No attempt at stopping them is futile. Come here, you little bastard. Kenzie, it worked! Great. At least you have a way to get the Zin off your back now, so keep that in mind. Remember, this is only the beginning. With everything we're going to throw at Zinyak, you will be able to If you want to find and rescue your friends, you will meet me at my rift. Goodbye. That was 
odd. No kidding. Does this guy really think we would just trust some random ghost in the machine? Well, if he can help, it'd be worth it, right? Besides, what's the worst that can happen? I die. You die. We all die. Any combination that involves death at all, really. You will need to leap from platform to platform. By changing the red platforms to blue, the power connection to this simulation will remain open. The closer you land to the center, the stronger the connection. I showed up to your rift, so start explaining how you'll get me to my friends. I know how to navigate the Zen systems and travel between them. If you can find the right simulation, I can open a gateway between that one and yours. How do I know you aren't just one of Zinyak's goons fucking with you? Because I have no love for the Zin, as I was once their prisoner too. I have been stuck inside the Zin simulations, creating rifts, which cause chaos for Zinyak, though the Zin inevitably shut them down. Then why am I here doing this? Your help ensures I am able to keep them open permanently. A benefit to us both. So why don't you do this yourself? Where are you, anyway? My body has long since died. I implanted my consciousness into the main simulation computer many years ago. Then how can you open these gateways for me? I cannot. That is, not unless you find me a physical, mobile form I can download my memory matrix into first. So I find you a body and I'm supposed to just trust that you'll help me? Unlike humans, I keep my word and pay my debts. Besides, you know you need me. Finished your rift. My access code is 1331. One. Use it when you find me a suitable form. I want to make sure you are paid for your aid in keeping my rift open and to ensure you see that I am willing to help your cause. Paid how? I have found new code which allows you to change the element of one of your powers. You have a place I can test this? Indeed I do. In order to use this element, you will need to manually alter your power. Manually? Yes. I have created this tutorial message to explain how to do so. Oh, well, that's handy. Now use your fire blast on those people. It will ignite anyone in the blast radius. Just like Johnny Talk. More element types exist in this simulation for various powers. If you are able to find or create the code, that is. Thanks for the help. It is not help. Only repaying my debt. Now I will let you continue on your quest to find me the body you promised. So the AI won't help me break into other simulations unless he gets a body. So how do we get him one, Kenzie? The Zen have almost everything in the simulation locked tight, but there is something you can use. A control and interface device. Hey, great. Where do I find one? You're in luck. The Zen have a bunch in transit right now. The Zen are using CIDs to bring a downed hotspot online. Once you have a CID from them, get it to a safe spot and wipe its old programming so the AI can upload its personality into the new shell. Go back to that first hot spot you took down. You can get a CID there. Simple smash and grab, huh? Sure. Go with that. Just get one and take it to a safe spot. You don't want to deal with Zin while trying to hack that device. I wonder where Brad is doing. I'm curious, is there any way to get this AI a body in the real world, too? At this point, the AI is purely information. He's entirely digital. You could download him to your phone if you wanted. Why? Does he want a body? <laughs> Would you want to be stuck inside the simulation forever? Good point. I'll check the ship for a suitable shell just in case. Along with the CIDs, Zen are transporting a prototype for a contained force recursive feedback projector. Kenzie, that sounds like complete bullshit, even coming from you. 
Imagine a gun that fires a bullet that bounces from one target to another to another to another like a pinball racking up a billion points. Oh. Be careful not to damage all the CIDs. I don't know when or if we'll get another chance to get one of these. Yeah, 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 Kinsey, I got this. Which CID should I grab? It doesn't matter, just pick one. Touched it. Well, touch it different next time. What the hell, Kenzie? Don't pin this on me. These things are broken. Would you blow up on me? Yes. Finally. Quick, get to a safe spot so you can crack it open. How far away do I need to be? Just away from the Zin. Pick some place they won't find you. How long is this whole thing gonna take? I won't know until I crack open the device and see how it ticks. Alright, this spot looks good. Keep an eye out while I work on this. I guarantee the Zin have a way of finding these devices remotely. Shit, they found us. Don't let them take the CID. Work fast. This is better than everyone. A little bit more. Okay, the CID is cracked and clear for uploading. I'm putting the AI code now. Great. How long until the upload is complete? 55 minutes. F 55 minutes? These things usually take like three to five tops. Look, the connection in this area is slow. Get closer to a major connection point like a power plant and this might go faster. Why didn't we go there first? Because a major connection point for the simulation is going to be heavily guarded. Will Sid download faster? Well, probably, but... And we're taking this thing there. Once Sid's up and running, how long until we can use him to get my crew? Well, assuming the AI wasn't lying, I don't see a reason why we shouldn't be able to get right to it. Speaking of which, who do you want to grab first? Pierce? Jondi? I, uh... I think we should get Matt. Miller? Oh my god, why? Hey, Matt turned himself around after Steelport. He joined MI6, helped us with Cyrus Temple, and... You know, he's... Useful. Ish. Useful? You have a lot on your plate, Kinsey, with all this... Cyber, what's it? Figured you could use the help. I'm doing just fine without Matt Miller. Thank you. Two heads are better than one, Kinsey. Set it up. Flip the switch and done. Excellent. How long now? <laughs> uh, K Kinsey? That's just part of the process. Apparently the sweary part of the process. The full download should only take about 16 minutes. Is there anything you can do to make it go faster? I'll see what I can find. There might be additional access points we can use to increase the bandwidth. I'm at the second one. Both the access points are online. How's the download looking? Much faster. Much, much too fast. Too fast! Sid is overloading! Overloading? Overheating! Get to him and cool him down! Sid is melting down! Do something to cool him off! Okay, we're good. We're fine. I managed to throttle the connection a bit, so it should be much more stable now. How long until the download's done? Three minutes. Good. So give me just enough time to fight up a few waves of zen. That's why I get paid the big bucks.
Download complete. All right, time to kill us some aliens. Oh, God. I'm gonna regret getting Sid a real body, aren't I? Oh, Sid. We're gonna get along famously. Shit, this is great. Uh, Kenzie? Take him down and I should be able to transfer some of his powers to you. Oh, this is... Why is my brain on fire? Welcome to being able to move things with your mind. I'm sure you'll have plenty of chances to use it. Alright, we got Sid, so how do we use him to get Matt? Um, are you really sure about this? I mean, I know he can help, but it's Matt Miller. Kinsey, if he can help us find the others, then yes, I'm certain. Now, how does this work? Well, I give Sid the proper cipher to connect to Matt's personal simulation, and he opens the gateway. All right, let's go get the kid, then. I was shocked when the boss picked you to be the vice president, but you ended up working out. That's only vaguely insulting. Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing like Julius. Kenzie, we're ready. I'm sending Sid the jailbreak. Any last advice? When you're inside Matt's virtual oubliette, there's a decent chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any last advice I'll understand? Don't get killed. Gotcha. Matt Miller, self-proclaimed hacker guy. Ran all the cyber terrorism for the Syndicate back in Steelport. Now he's Asha's right-hand man in MI6. I just hope we can trust him like she does. Hey, Kinsey, how am I supposed to rescue Matt without a weapon? Well, you don't have superpowers either. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why the fuck are there giant words in my face? It's a command prompt. Just give me a second. Ah, hell, not again. Damn it! The camera's screwed up. I just have to deal with it. <gasps> at least this ain't my first time at the top-down tank rodeo. Kenzie, you gonna fix this or what? I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. No, 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 don't put in a space. Oops, sorry, finger slipped. Final. There should be three data towers controlling the security to Matt's prison. And I just blow this thing up, right? Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. I must say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> Actually, twice. No, three times. All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. Well, what do you care if I try? Huh. Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. Lots of firepower here, Kinsey. Destroying the tower should destroy the tanks with it. Miss Kensington is rather astute for a human. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Ugh. Touche. That's two. One more to go. 
Oh, wanted to thank you, by the way, Kinsey. For what? Well, I'm in cyberspace, and I haven't been turning to a sex doll or a toilet yet. God, are you still mad about that? I said I was sorry. Something that kind of sticks with you in your nightmares. <laughs> All right, last tower's going down. Oh, I don't think it should be that easy for you. He's made the tower invulnerable. Hang on, I'll find a workaround. This attempt is as futile as the lack of most humans. Oh, look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just a zin, my dear. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. And then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury. Signifying. <laughs> what idiot said that? It's a quote from Macbeth. Yeah, never mind. You're coming up on Matt's prison. And how am I getting him out without any weapons or a key? Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. You'll just have to wing it. Normally you yell at me when I wing it. Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you either. Just keep those reassurances coming. Lindsay, what's going on? Before you place a choice. Walk through the blue door and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you would willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity, or its absolute destroyer. What the hell is all this? This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes, and losses on display to remind you of one simple fact. Regardless of what I have done to your world, you were its great. Childhood? Wait, is that Matt? Trapped in technology he doesn't understand, in a cyber world he can't control. Don't worry, Matt. I'll get you out. Without Miss Kensington, very doubtful. of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. 
The guy's an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He can take care of himself. You needed help getting out, and you're the commander-in-chief. That's a really good point. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. Kenzie! Come on! Can't I get some payback? Got a little lost. Big deal. Or he got a little dead. Who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak's ship. out of nothing. This is a great opportunity for him to build character. Kinsey, this is not the time for a teachable moment. If we don't help Matt, he will die. Fine. Take this. You're beautiful. Thanks. Us talking to the robot. It's power armor. Same thing? Not really. A robot is an automaton, whereas power... Don't ruin this, Keith. <laughs> that landing could have been softer. Are you breaking my power armor? No, and it's not your power armor. If you do damage the power armor, you can find repair kits in some of the storage crates. Look at the guns on this thing, huh? Oh, um, I didn't have time to get them working, so... No guns? You're killing me, Kinsey. I found your power armor, but I'm just missing stuff. Kinsey, my mech is too big for the door. Can you do something? Ugh, oh my god, this is the real world. I can't just waggle my fingers and, oh, look, Kinsey, you weave worlds like a goddess with a brush. I'll find another door. And there are the aliens. You take care of what's there, and I'll make sure they don't alert the others. Shit. There are humans in all these pods? Maybe, but I don't think the Zen abducts humans exclusively. Get away from me! I made it! Whoa, 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 Matt. Relax. It's me. About time I was rescued. Oh, you wouldn't believe what they have. But I didn't realize they had robots. See, this is a robot. Thank you. Kenzie was all, this is power armor, not... So, not a robot? What kind of firepower does that make have? Uh, Kenzie said the guns are missing... stuff. <laughs> Typical. Give me a moment to find the parts. I have the parts. Get to me and I'll set you up. This will be much different than any other weapon you're used to. Don't ever sell it. It's a gun, Matt. I got it. It's more than just a gun. All right, let's get to Kenzie. Matt, the gun stopped working. I did what I could. I told him to fix it right now. Fuck. Shift to the platform, Matt. Get to it. Kinsey.
I don't want to sound needy or anything, but I just blew up a capital ship. You think someone could at least give me a high five? You need to take a look at this. A plane? Why would Zinyak want to build one of those? We're in deep space. It has to be another prison. Whose idea of hell is being trapped on an aeroplane? <laughs> me, Shandi, and... Oh my god. Johnny's alive. Boss, Johnny's dead. Who else would be stuck in a plane? Shandi? It was a life-defining moment for her. It's the only thing that makes sense. You're wrong. I think she's making a lot of sense. She's wrong. Find out where this is. We're getting my best friend back. I should get some new car smell. Okay, we have the location of the cargo plane prison, but... Kenzie, I don't want to hear it. Look, I'm just saying don't get your hopes up. I know I'm right. I'm surprised Zinyak went back to the well and hid this inside a broken shillelagh again. According to Matt's data, all of the submatrices are inside broken shillelaghs. It makes no sense. Zinyak's big on reuse. I'm coming, Johnny. It was on this plane where Shani and I lost our best friend. Johnny Gat helped found the Saints originally, and Shandi looked up to him ever since she joined. He sacrificed himself to save us. Now I want our friend back. Where's my powers? Your powers only work in your simulation. You're on your own. Fine. Well, I'm not letting that stop me. I'm coming, Johnny. God, I hate these Morningstar assholes. Kenzie, the door won't open. I don't understand. Oh, is something the matter? Oh, fuck you. Poor Johnny is on the other side of that door. And you can't even muster the courage to open it. He's going to die. Alone. And none of his friends will even get to see the body to bury him. I let you down. I let us all down. We never should have ran. We should have stayed and fought, but we couldn't because... We couldn't because of me. And I know people say it's not my fault, but if the boss didn't have to protect me, you would be standing here right now. I'm so sorry, John. <laughs> It wasn't your fault. We left him to die. He didn't save our lives so we could feel sorry for ourselves. Yes, I hate to interrupt this touching moment, but we haven't even got to the best part of this plane ride. Oh, fuck me. Okay, oh, fuck. Kinsey, what happened to Shani? I, I don't know. It's like she's everywhere. I gotta find her. Oh, this should be entertaining. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck's going on, Kenzie? I don't... Boss? Boss, Shut are you there? Okay. That was different. <laughs> Nobody thinks these things. Of course they do. Everyone always carries me through everything. Shandi, that's not true. Shandi? She's annoying. What the hell is going on here? Hey, get off me! Boss, are you there? Yeah, I'm still here. Hold on, why are you in a nightclub? What happened to the plane? This is Shandi's nightmare, Kenzie. Trust me. This is where I'm supposed to be. Uh, uh, cut it out! Who's that? I better get down there. You're not going anywhere! Use the stun gun! Let her go, veteran child! Yeah, like that's gonna happen. Will somebody tell me what's going on here? Think you can take her from me? Use the stun gun! She's mine, you hear me? <laughs> 
lights are blinking. I'm thinking it's all about. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Shandy. That is not Shandy. Uh, actually, Kinsey. Yeah, this is. No, something screwed up. Shandy doesn't act like this. She has like one emotion: pissed. This girl needs a bowl fast. It's fine. Just move on. Not yet, my friends. I think veteran child deserves a second chance with our fair Jezebel. Maybe several chances. All hail to me! That's a lot of veteran children. Veteran childs? Proper plurals take singular construction. Oh, you know, is this really the time? Little help here. Maybe this time he'll stay dead. You're remarkably calm right now. Hey, sometimes your exes try to kill you. What can you do, you know? You want a party? No, this isn't me. Shandy, you okay? This is getting weird. Get out. What's her problem? My problem? My problem is that I used to be you. This isn't a born again thing, is it? No, she's future you. Makes sense. So what happens to me? What do you mean? Look, Shandy, let's get out no, no, of- No, 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 no. I want to hear what I have to say to myself. What did you mean, what happens to me? Well, evidently, I become a total frigid bitch. So I just wanted to know what's up. Oh, you mean I stopped sitting around smoking drugs from a broken light bulb all day? Guys, maybe we should- Yeah, you're lame now. You used to have fun. I used to be useless. What? The most memorable thing you ever did was get captured by your smoked out ex. That's not true. I'm sorry. And fucking half of Stillwater. Go team. I always thought you were just really friendly and hated pants. Someone gets it. I hate me. Let's get out of here. Kenzie, where's Pierce? Been working on that, and I think I have the right cipher created. So, what's the problem? Oh, nothing. Sid's just asking for new programs for delivering this to you. Well, give them to him and let's get Pierce. You haven't heard what the programs are. Ew. I've been researching your friend, Pierce. Are you sure you wish to retrieve him? What kind of a question is that? An honest one. Historically, you spend nearly half your time ridiculing him. Yeah, but it's all in good fun. Making a man who risks his life for you and what you stand for the butt of your comedy routine is all in good fun? Yes? You're a terrible person. Can you give me the goddamn cipher? I'm saving his life, you know. You don't have to convince me. Just yourself. Drink up. We're talking about this later. The face of the saint, Pierce Washington, was always comfortable in the public's eye. Some may think he's gone soft because of this, but he's always been loyal to the crew no matter what had to get done. Damn it! Get away from me! Pierce, hang on! I'm coming! Saints blow! What the fuck is going on here? Boss, am I glad to see you? Hold on. This is your greatest fear? Marketing gone bad? Bad? Our own IP is attacking us and you're making jokes? These things are trying to kill me! Or pour you a drink, ever think of that? <laughs> okay, let me stop and ask them if they're just trying to serve me a cold, refreshing drink. That's why I get paid the big bucks. That can't be good. Oh shit, come on, we need more guns! Hey, wait, you took my line! And there's a reason for it! Now move! Load up over there. Uh, what the hell was that noise I heard? You don't want to know, but we'll need more guns. Aliens running Here's buddy, what's going on? Here's the giant fucking hand out there. Oh, I know. Look out! 
Here comes Paul! Paul? You named it Paul? Hey man, does it matter? Shoot them rockets at him already! High beams? Seriously? Open wide! There's more ammo in the crate over there! <laughs> How you like that, Paul? Gotcha! I'll be fine. Pierce has really got a fucked up mind. I've been trying to figure out how to make you large enough to fight that thing. What? Just get to the island with the big statue on it, okay? And get Paul's attention so he follows you. Who the hell is Pierce with that helicopter? Get in! Paul's not gonna stay down. Figured. Kinsey's got a plan, though. Kinsey does? Mind filling me in? She says we have to get to the statue. What for? Do you really think she told me? All I know is we have to get Paul to follow. To follow? She better have something big planned then. I'm so afraid of this stuff. Why were you the face of the saints? Well, the money helps. And who said I was afraid of it? This is like when something you love is trying to kill you, and you just can't stop it. Yeah, like dating. Huh, exactly. Okay, get inside the statue of Joe Magarak. Now the statue has a name? Seriously. You didn't know that. Nobody tells me anything. See what old what's his name can do. How about a little ladle action? Don't forget about the block button. I have a block button? I labeled it for you. I don't pay attention to these things. Man, this ladle does everything. Oh, you don't like that, do you? Sorry, Paul. I'll pour one out for you. Oh, that's right. Pop that top. Time to make a monument. Yeah, that's a good look. That's just kind of fucked up. You ready to get out of here? Yeah. Can't wait to get back to Earth. Right. Forgot to tell you. Earth got blown up. What? Let's get my chief of staff back. I'll send the cipher to Sid. Meet him at the usual spot. What's going on? The president is about to enter Ben King's mind. So? Are you kidding me? The boss is going back to a time when they weren't in charge. When was the last time you saw that? I feel like this is an invasion of privacy. When did that ever stop your administration? We never invaded Yes, we, we did. did. Jesus, what did we do? 
I'm committing treason if I tell you. I think treason only matters if you have a planet on which to be tried. That was bad timing. You get to be quiet now. Okay. Kenzie, am I? Back home in Stillwater? Yep. And look at this place. <laughs> It's just how I remember it. I expected the buildings to look a lot worse than this. Yeah, they've really improved over the years. Watches! I got watches here! Yo, hey man, this shit'll cost you $600 in the store! Oh, whatever, man. Watches! Yo, I got watches! Hey, baby. I could show you a good time. Hold on. Doesn't someone try to kill me soon? Shit! Oh, hell no! Man, fuck the rollers! The VAR, you gonna let those bitches disrespect us? Shit, what you think? Whoops. Nice going. Everyone loses to me. Would you look at that? Recognize that place? Of course I do. I was just a kid when I came back here. <laughs> well, I was too scared to talk back then. That must have been nice. Excuse me? I didn't say anything. Tanya? Oh, fuck! Not you again! The hell was she doing here? Damn, I remember all this. All these people. I'm kind of shocked a freckle bitch has never opened in Steelport. <laughs> then again, Councilman Phillips never did have a sense of humor. That's far enough. King, whoa, whoa, it's me. Remember, I'm the president and you're my chief of staff? Shit. Yeah, I remember now. What's going on here? My crew turned on me. Tanya and Big Tony pulled a coup and now they want my ass dead. I was hoping Julius and the Saints would help me out. Oh, shit, he's not around here, is he? No. I'm never able to find him. <laughs> no, 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 believe me, it's for the best. Now let's get you out of here. Time to get ready! The time you think you bitches can take me out? My name is Benjamin motherfucking King! Didn't you kind of drop Tanya out of a window onto your car years ago? Yeah, but that ain't what happened here. Every time I see her and Anthony, they end up putting a bullet in my head. Then I wake up and it's the same shit all over again. Claire, more coming in! We're sitting ducks in here. Take King and head back to the portal. I'll get you... Oh, hold on. We're not leaving yet. What? Why not? You have King, so just... What about you, Ben? You ready to leave yet? Hell no. I'm not going anywhere until Tanya and Tony are in the ground. We're staying, Kinsey. Come on, King. Let's go. Sure about this? There's spike kings all over that area. Ben, when did Tony and Tanya usually show up to kill you? Tanya's usually tried already. I think I scared her away earlier. Sorry. If we can hold out here, then Tony shouldn't be far behind the rest of the VKs. This feels just like old times, doesn't it, player? Simpler times, King. Kenzie, can you see if Tony's on his way yet? I've been searching the simulation, and so far, no sign of either of them. But they are gonna show up, right? Since King has been reliving this over and over again, it stands to reason that the parameters of the encounter should remain the same. I think that means yes. But you understand it. Uh, I'm just not having any luck finding the two of them. I... Oh, no. King went down on the other side. Hurry. Damn it. I'm coming, Ben!
Ben, you all right? Fine. Thanks. No more splitting up. We stick together till we kill those assholes. We have to find the programs for Tony and Tanya inside simulation's code and force them to spawn. Or maybe you won't have to, girl. Look! That's Anthony! Let's kill his punk ass! It's over, King. You cannot run us forever. I didn't let the crew kill me when you all took over, and I ain't let you kill me now! You think the Saints can save you? After we do with you, that side of motherfucker is next. Oh, me? You really don't know who you're fucking with anymore, Tony. I tried to warn him. Like Anthony ever listened. <laughs> Boss, you and King should head back down the street to where you came in. It looks like Tanya's on her way. Hold on. You're just thinking of this now? I've been ready ever since I got here. Though I'll give Tanya one more chance to give herself up. Meaning? Meaning put your weapons away and we'll see if she's willing to back down. Yo, look who it is. Well, well, Benjamin. Time for you to die with some dignity. So much for her giving up. Anthony's dead! The Vice Kings are through! <laughs> That's just precious! You think I need Tony to kill you and your sidekick here? Who you calling sidekick? Lady, I don't think we can drop her out a window this time. Fine by me. I always wanted to put a bullet in this bitch. Just don't get any blood on you. She's got the hat. No, I don't. You were never good enough to run the Vice Kings, Benjamin. <laughs> Easy. What, are you the best the Saints have? Pathetic! What the hell happened to her? Honestly, I don't care right now. As long as she ain't killing my ass over and over again. The point. Let's clean up the rest and then get out of here. look like out there it's bad why do i have a feeling that's a big understatement you know me too well we have a plan kind of kind of we're getting the band back together and then we're gonna kill zinyak that's not a plan that's a goal what you got a better one kenzie you listening yeah i want to turn this whole simulation off you think you can do that with my help she can i don't need your help yes you do that's why you saved me first you saved matt before me brilliant computer hacker Record mobile. Experience with virtual worlds. Experience with street gangs. My experience is empire building. Empire building? I'm sorry, who became fucking president of the United States? Who's the person that the fucking president of the United States asked to run their cabinet because they were way over their head? I was not in over my head. True or false? You called me at 3 in the morning asking me to run your election because you weren't polling for shit. There's some fine points you're glossing over there, buddy. You're right. You weren't asking me. You were begging me. Are you two finished yet? Keith, have you been watching the whole time? Yeah. And I'm just throwing this out there. I think there's only a passing similarity between me and Julius. Whatever, you're like the same person. How many of you guys are listening in on us? All of us. Let's not fight in front of the kids. Do you seriously have a plan? I do. Work it out with Kinsey and Matt and fill me in when we can execute. You got it. All right, I'm killing your connection, Benjamin. We'll see you soon. Hey, King. You really hate that you end up in second place, don't you? Yeah. I didn't know much about Asha Odakar before she helped us save the entire damn country. But in the years since, I've come to know her as one of the best soldiers I've ever met. If I'm gonna take down Zinyak, I want her in my crew. I just think you're really building this up. 
And I think you're drastically underestimating how dangerous the mind of a super spy can be. <laughs> super spy? Jesus, man, I get that you want to fuck her, but you don't have to build her a pedestal. That is beside the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch you later, man. I get it. This is beginning to be my personal hell, too. Kinsey? What am I wearing? You should see what your face looks like. Why? What did you do to my face? Matt told me some very specific concerns that she has about you. The fuck are you talking about? Where is he? Last chance. Fuck you, slut. You're like Johnny Gat with better hair. I'm nothing like Johnny Gat. Fair, Gat was never self-righteous. Don't you dare confuse duty with self-righteousness. Yeah, because those two never fucking overlap. Says the President of the United States. You say the title like it's a dirty word. It is when the role is filled by a psychopath. Puckish Rose! <laughs> What the fuck is going on here? Who are you looking for? Your evil twin. What? Hold up. An evil twin? Ben, I thought it was better than saying I've been sent to kill evil you. Alright, so what tipped the scales? Best Intelligence Show's codename Mr. X is preparing a full assault against their own nation. I've been tasked with making sure they don't succeed. Ooh, sounds serious. Careful, there's a guard ahead. Ooh, one guy? No problem. Let's do this without drawing attention, yeah? Shoot those lights. Why would I waste two bullets on those lights when I could just use one Protect on the, the guard? One. Stealth missions require a specific order Did of operation. Did it get operation. darker? Let's sneak yeah, she past this guard. Careful, stay out there. of the light. Sh shit, we're not vampires in this world, are we? How in the hell are we gonna get past that? I hope you're limber. Even the slightest disruption of a single beam will send a 2,000-volt shock through your entire body. What we'll have to do is move through the gaps in a serpentine pattern. <laughs> yeah, fine with that. I'm taking the air duct. Do evil geniuses usually leave their air duct covers unscrewed? So an evil version of me is your worst nightmare? Uh, how do you mean? Well, I mean, according to Kinsey, every person's simulation is based on their deepest, darkest fears. Okay. You fear me being in power more than anything else? The extent of your ego is certainly terrifying at times. Oh, nice. Nice, Sasha. Real nice. Stay on guard. Mr. X could be hiding anywhere. Ah, oh, sure. I thought you knew me better than that. Why would I hide when I could kill your friends in front of you? Say hello, man. Ah, oh, sure. I. Good talk. Wow, you're cold. Johnny cried like a little bitch when his girlfriend got killed. I'm not gonna give you this satisfaction. Ooh, I love it when you talk tough. Then you're gonna fucking love me, you piece of shit. You. See you soon. What the hell is this place? These are all people. They're replications of a highly functional sociopathic paradigm. You mean like Hitler? It's you. No shit. Asha, about that. I'm not sure what this whole thing is, but I know it isn't real. While I don't relish the idea of seeing someone I care about being murdered over and over again, I also don't see a purpose to needless blubbering. Hey, I was just... Focus on the job. Look who's here. My favorite wannabe spy and her BFF. I admit I was surprised to see you in here, other me. But then I realized Asha would never be able to do this without some help. Are you there, Asha? 
Hold on, Matt wants to speak with me. Is anyone counting these kids? Hey, Officer! Oh, How are you doing, love? Care for some tea, comforts, fancy as snow. Ooh. Oh, that Matt. Such a character. I wouldn't mind killing him again. Hey! As soon as you fail. to bring in help, but who do you choose? My lesser half. That sociopath has never cared about anyone else in their entire life. That so-called puckish rogue didn't even shed a tear when their best friend's girl was beheaded by the truck. Is that what you think? Don't worry, everyone loses to me. killed me. Yeah, we did. You smoke? I do now. Evil me was kind of an asshole. Good you was kind of an asshole. Blame my parents. Daddy issues? Nah, just... <laughs> forget it. Oh, don't like talking about your past. Don't see the point. Who cares what I did before I joined the Saints? Aren't you going to ask me about mine? I thought we were killing evil clones, not picking out place settings. <laughs> yeah, you should probably get out of here. Once more for old time's sake? Yeah, why not? Feels weird not being in a shitty sports bar. We could always name the ship the Broken Shillelay. Not funny. Kinsey, relax. Doing my best. Look, if you're worried about me going brain dead, I figure it's part of the deal. You have to say something. What aren't you telling me? Thanks, Matt. Kinsey. It's not you she's worried about. It's everyone else. Oh, this is gonna get real exciting. It doesn't matter. I have a feeling we're about to disagree. Saving Gat is a terrible idea. The fuck's got into you? You're out of line. The boss, don't answer to you, honey. Bitch, you lucky we're standing in front of Keith David or Stop I... it! He's right, okay? It's a terrible idea. In order to save Johnny, we have to tap directly from our ship into his mind, and that means Zinyak's going to know exactly where we are. You're asking Matt and I to paint a target on humanity's last chance so that you can go rescue someone we've never even met. And what's even stupider is that we're going along with it. That guy you just beat the shit out of is risking everything to save your friend. And you want to know why? Because we can't save ours anymore. Oleg is dead. Viola is dead. Earth is dead. So how about you stop being a fucking asshole and say thank you for giving us the hope you'll never have? I'm sorry. Yeah, well... You could have killed me back in Steelport, but you let me go. I can forgive a few punches. Okay, then. Get in the chair. Hey, boss. What do you think Gat's mind is like? No idea. But if I had to bet, I'd say either a shooting gallery or a freckle bitches. Johnny Gat is the oldest friend I have and the baddest motherfucker I know. I mourned him once when I thought Philippe Loren had taken him out. Now that I know he's alive, I'd walk through hell to bring him back. Man, 
still water. I don't remember it looking so. Flat? Where do you think you're going? Where's Warren William? I'm here for Aisha. Get the fuck out of my way! I don't think so. <laughs> Kingdom come record it. Warren Williams is straight ahead. Let's go! Johnny, this isn't real. Aisha's dead. You can't bring her back. Shut the fuck up. I know she's in here. We just have to get to the main office. Come on! Gonna pay for taking my girl. You really think you can stop me? Warren Williams, let Aisha go. You'll never get her, Johnny. Aisha isn't here. We have to get to her house. Hot stuff! Stage 2. Complete. Stage 3. Fight! We're almost there, damn it! Look at all these fucking loaded! Let's take them out! I'm telling you, man! Too late. You gotta snap out of this, Johnny. You are really starting to piss me off. Now come on. We don't have much time. I use the house. We're here. Don't go in there, Johnny. You home? Johnny! It is a trap! Eve! Kenzie, can you reset part of the simulation? Theoretically, each simulation is an isolated instance. Yeah! Great! Do it then! One second, and... Here we go. Get! Hold up! Hey, you... We're coming to get you. Whoa. We? Who's we? His journey finally over. Johnny Gat was once again able to hold Aisha in his arms. But the reunion was soon over, as the street tough remembered the tragedy that claimed his love so many years ago. Thanks for playing. Were you right? No. Side scroller beat him up. Nice. I'm coming, Johnny. Kenzie, I need that robot up and running. It's really more like power armor. Not now, Keith.
GPS on this thing? How do I find Gat? First, do you remember how to use this suit? Do I remember? That's not really an answer. You know what? Don't worry about it. I'll find Johnny. Empty, same as the others. Do you think he'll be okay? Johnny can handle himself. Well, Matt Miller can survive. I, I'll have you know. Ow! Casey, why did you just grab Johnny and bring him back, okay? All soldiers on high alert. Special Prisoner 31 has escaped and is moving through the base. This is a kill order. Repeat, kill order. On the move? Okay, let me try to find a way to. I see a trail of dead aliens, Kinsey. I think I know which way Johnny went. doesn't do you justice. Earth's most passant warrior? That's what he called me. You're telling me he abducted you years before his invasion because he thought you single-handedly could stop him? Yeah. That's so fucking awesome. You realize that means Zinyak's more afraid of him than you, right? Shit. Johnny, go back to the part about the meat shield. Guys, don't take this the wrong way. But I spent years living in the past. I'm ready for the future. Good. Because if we're going to pull off King's plan, we're going to need all the help we can get. I'm not late to the briefing, am I? We haven't started yet. I'm waiting on Miller. Still feel bad about punching Matt in the face. He'll get over it. Or he'll kill me in my sleep. That's always a possibility, too. Got what we got, guys. Can we just get to murdering already? We got a problem. Now we're talking. What's up? The Zinn are coming. Here? That's probably why he said it's a problem. All right, let's take cover. We should be able to ambush them. Not so sure about that. Grenade. They're probably trying to counteract your powers. Does everyone keep taking away my superpowers? How the hell did they find us? I don't know. Who cares? Let's just kill them. Oh. Mm, so close. and I will hold him here. Just get everyone else to safety, player. We got this!
Whoa, why are we running? I'm down for some murder. Ben says he has a plan. We need to lose this heat and then... Whatever the plan was, it went out the fucking window. We need to focus on surviving. Everyone okay? We walked away, right? Oh, look. A cat. Is this a pet store? A cat? Fuck, of all the buildings in Steelport we crash on Genkies? Seriously? Super ethical reality climax. Who names this shit? Where to now? Doesn't matter. The Zin just found us. Kenzie, find us a way out. On it. Ooh, is that a killing floor? Merry Christmas to me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Kenzie, what uh-oh? Boss, the game is on. It started by itself. I can't shut it down. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special episode of Professor Genki's Super Ethical Reality Climax. Or is active and the doors are locked. Nobody gets out. Including us. Until that is, the contestants rack up enough points to fill the murdometer. Shit, I'm down. Let's do this! Shouldn't have fucked with the president! Look at all the contestants today! And all new targets as well! The Zen Empire have taken it upon themselves to face the challengers! Truly, a bold move on their part! You're not kidding! The Zen are the fiercest opponents in the universe, Bobby! They should be a tough fight for the Saints! Yes, indeed! Zen are falling before the might of these contestants. They sure are. Look at how they're mowing down the opposition. Goes to show you how much having a team behind you can really come in handy. <laughs> I wish we had a team behind us. What we have is the love and support of Zinya. What else could we possibly need? <laughs> Nothing at all, Bobby. Nothing at all. Good shot by the contestant. Yankees sure gonna feel that one. Takes a particularly skilled player to take out Professor Genki. Especially after facing the considerable might of the Zen Empire. Of which we are required to bestow the virtues. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. Genki is down. Down, but never out, Zach. So true, Bobby. So true. Is that all? Looks like it. Oh my gosh. What, more of them? Let's get to the prize room. That was fun. They got more games like this in Steelport? So where to? You know, I generally don't like getting involved in these things, but this is really exciting. Kenzie, focus. What do we do now? Ben's plan was to overload the simulation. We can still do that, but not if the Zen Noir ever knew. You can make sure they don't, right? Yes, but I need to get back to the ship so I can find a way to cut them off. Once that's done, it's just a matter of finding the weakest point in the simulation. Get us to a safe spot so we can get back to the real world. Just like my driving. Hey, player. Pierce and I are pulling out of the simulation. Meet you back on the ship. Where's that static coming from? And how did the Zen find us? I thought your hideout was safe, kid. Fuck! No! Boss, you need to get back to the ship. Now! Shanti, what the fuck are you doing? They got Kinsey! Boss, the Zinn are here. What? We were set up. I got out of the simulation. Pierce and King were out cold. The proximity alarm is screaming, and Asha Miller and the Vice President are gone. They kidnapped Keith David? And left us sleeping so we get picked up by Zinya. Too bad for them we're awake. What's the plan? You and Gaz secure the doors while I check on Kinsey. We'll get you back, Kinsey. Just hang on. 
You ready? Because we got visitors. Let's clear out the lower decks. We have to hold the room. Fuck that. I'm not waiting for them to come to me. Gotta check the monitors. No need. I have already analyzed our situation. Shit, I forgot Mr. Deix Ex Machina was even on the ship. A Zin transport has attached itself and is dragging us toward what I assume is certain doom. So what can we do about it? If I were you, I would deal with the strange heat signature by the cargo bay first. Cargo bay? Fuck! Let's go! These Zin sure do make a good argument for murdering him. Oh, they're nothing compared to their leader. I'm gonna enjoy every second of Terran Zinyak apart. Take your time, huh? That sounds like a plan. I get the chance? I'm gonna rip Zinyak's goddamn head off. Yeah, where do you think the Zin have kids? I don't know. But when I find Mad Nasha, I'm gonna beat that information out of him. Yo, quit fucking around and get in here! <laughs> That wasn't a bad fuck you to Zinyak. Let's get out of here and find Kenzie. God damn it! What happened? MI6 fucked us. I knew it! Asha had it out for me since jump! She talked shit in Pakistan, she sucker punched me in. Can't believe Miller had me fooled. To think I actually apologized. He's probably been working this angle for a while. Hell, he might have even been the one who tipped off Zinyak about Johnny. Doubt it. Dante said that the lowest circle of hell was reserved for betrayers. But it's important to remember that it's the storyteller who decides who the hero is, not morality. But while philosophers will spend years debating the ethics of the Kinsey Gambit, the Saints had a less charitable view. Keith David is a dead man. If it's not too much trouble, I need to better familiarize myself with how the simulation works. I figure if I watch the changes to the code take place when you do a few different tasks for me, I should get a stronger grasp on the workings of Zin programming. Fine, but I better get something out of this. My fellow Americans, I know firsthand what this war with the Zen has cost us. How many more need to die before we realize that the time has come for us to put aside our pride and focus not on division, but unity? Does Zinyak have a strong personality? Absolutely. But then again, so did the previous president. And you know what? When I look at the two of them, I see more similarities than differences. Both have proven leadership experience. Both maintain their composure in high-pressure situations. Both have a love of Jane Austen. But most importantly, both of them will not stop until they get what they want. For this war to end, we need to stop rattling sabers and realize that victory doesn't come from annihilating an enemy, but by making an enemy your friend. All of us are heroes in our own stories. The time has come for us to grow up and have perspective. Earth will have its salvation, but it will come on the back of humility, not violence. Cute speech. Where's the part where you talk about selling out humanity? Humanity? Does that mean the nine of us? Earth is gone because you provoked a madman. I trusted you, Keith. And I trusted you. The country trusted you. And look where that led us. So what, you're putting your faith in Zinyak? Giving up your free will to be ruler of some bullshit daydream? You don't get it. Zinyak said he can restore Earth. All I have to do is kill you. He's lying to you. Maybe. But there's billions of lives at stake. If he's telling the truth, what's one life for the greater good? You sound just like Julius. He was right.
I know where they're keeping Kinsey. Keith. We had a deal, my friend. Now what am I supposed to do with a naughty little boy like you? Ah. Enjoy your requiem, Mr. Pig. <laughs> Hell am I? Matt, you there? Matt? Matt? Oh shit. I gotta snap out of it! Snap out of it! Ah! Look, you crazy mother! Stay away from me! Keith, you know better! I'm telling you, you dumb son of a bitch! I'm trying to save your life! You couldn't even save your own! Keith! Listen to me! I'm giving you a choice! Get away from me! Let him go! They have him bad. Hey, I'm Roddy. Roddy Piper. Hey, I'm the President of the United States. Sure. Why not? Well, Prez, we got visitors. Sold out someone very important to me. Whatever trance he's in, I need him snapped out of it. He's going crazy. He thinks we're all out to kill him. If anything happens to Kinsey, I will be. What is this place? A television broadcasting tower. What the hell's he gonna do with the broadcast tower? He's a crazy man with a microphone. What do you think he's gonna do? Ladies and gentlemen of America, the threat is right in front of us. An alien presence has taken over your friends and family. It's everyone you know, everyone you see. Nobody can be trusted. You got it all wrong, Keith. Zinyak's in your head. He's got you all confused. Keith, listen to me. The Zinyak guy is bad fucking news. You! I told you to get away. Get the fuck away from me. You're not gonna kill me, motherfuckers. Shit! After him! Satellite's down. Did it work? No, the brainwashing is too ingrained. I'll have to beat it out of him. If you want to know where your friend is, now's the time to ask. Where is Kenzie, Keith? Where did Zinyak put Kenzie? Tell me, Keith! She's... She's... She's in... Keith, I think you got some unresolved issues. You don't know what happened, the kid. Now come on, we've got to save Kinsey. I wish we could call Roddy for help. No one calls Roddy for help. He shows up where he's needed most. Let's go. The information I got from Keith was a code of some kind. 
Apparently, he overheard Zinyak telling one of his subordinates a series of numbers somehow connected to Kinsey's location. Uh, I'd bet these digits line up with some proprietary coordination system used by the simulation, but I don't have access to that. We need someone who's able to plug directly into the simulation. Send the data to Sid. We'll take it from there. Data received. Hmm. Very interesting. It seems... Ah! Oh, shit! What's happening? I don't know. I... 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 Oh, here I go! Uh, Matt, I'm... following Sid. I'm going to hack the code to find out where Sid is going. Don't touch anything! Kenzie had a thing for bunnies. If I had to guess, it looks like this sigil is connected to some sort of secret room. Secret room? Clever girl. Time to see what's in it. Whoa. Superior work. Right place? Absolutely. What the fuck is all this? A map of the simulation. Where are all the broken shillelaghs? If it would make the map more understandable to you, I could create a holocaust. God, no, we're good. So can you find Kinsey? In theory, yes. The time-consuming part will be identifying Kinsey's brainwaves in a sea of other data. Find whatever looks the most abnormal. It's probably her. Insulting, yet accurate. Good luck. This place, f me. Kenzie, great, come on, let's get out of here. If you want to speak with my husband, he'll be home this afternoon. Kenzie? Say, I'm afraid I don't have much of a green thumb. Oh, can you help me get this bulb to sit right? No, Kinsey, I can't. What? What are you doing? Hurry! I'm being held captive by... Kinsey? What just happened to Kinsey? Ooh, that must have been a decoy. That's smart. See if there are any more around. Headed back to Cyrus. Time for the second part of this plan. Which is... Trust me, you'll like it. The Sam Hill? Hey, I thought this was a party! Let's dance! Now, you hoodlum. You want to dance? Dance with me. Hey, I've got a new track for you to try. A new track? I'm uploading it now. Give it a shot. Oh, check you out, DJ Miller. Kenzie, let's get the fuck out of here. Hey, you swore! Kenzie, you're okay. You don't tell anyone what you saw. Do you understand me? Kenzie, it really wasn't all that... I said anyone. Hey, you got it. Just saying it was a cute poodle skirt. Ben King's a genius. We managed to 
to figure out how we can overload the simulation completely. When did you two figure this out? Just before I was kidnapped. Probably why Zinyak went after me, actually. So how do we do this? If I can hack directly into the main system, then I can bring down the walls between simulations and force Zinyak to divert an enormous amount of resources to keeping it from crashing altogether. Don't we want it to crash? Oh, it will. He won't be able to stop it. But for now, what I need from you is parts. For a key. A key? Keys don't have parts. Uh, not that kind of key. Anyway, that will be there to help you. Remember, this is important. Driving... need to assemble the key are the central processing unit, memory modules, and gravity inhibitors. I've located a CPU at the old Steelport Guard Armory. While you get that, I'll look around for the other stuff. You know what this thing we're going after looks like? Uh, some computer tech thing. How should I know? It's a central processing unit. It's for... You know what? I'll point it out when we get close. Jeez. Works for me. Fine. Next, head to the nearby tower. That's where the memory modules are. Right on. I'll grab one of these assault choppers and meet you there, boss. Just don't kill everyone before I get a few shots in. Hey, you know I can't control myself sometimes. You should be able to find generators on the floating platforms around the towers. Destroy them and take their modules. We're breaking pinatas now? No, the generators are made up of a lot of different parts. We just need one thing from them, and the fastest way to get them out is to destroy them. And that doesn't damage the module? That doesn't make any sense. It's a simulation! Last one. Okay, the gravity inhibitors are at the dock, though it looks like they're trying to put a force field up around the area. Get moving fast before they block you out. Yo, don't wait for me. I'll be right behind you. On it. Okay, we're done here. Let's... Yo, dog, this shit's on fire. I have to set it down somewhere. Shit, can you find a safe place to take it down? It's barely responding, but yeah, I think I can. I'll keep up with you, Johnny. Kenzie, keep your eyes on us. Right. On the next. Area's all clear. All right, land in this thing. Let's get out of here. I know over the years you've heard this speech a bunch of times. Heard it? Bitch, I wrote it. <laughs> but we need to remember why we do what we do. And today the stakes are even higher. Earth is gone. It's not coming back and nothing we do today is gonna change that. But one thing we can do is get revenge. And you better believe we're showing this motherfucker humanity isn't dead because we're still alive. This isn't about hope or faith or even about winning. Kenzie's right. Those things died on Earth. This is about will. This is about saying, I don't give a shit how many times you knock me down. If I'm still breathing, I'm standing right back up. And you know what? You can hit as hard as you want, because when I hit back, I'm going to lay your ass out, bitch. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. Here's the deal. You're gonna need three teams to help you defeat Zinyak. The first team will help you get the key into the mainframe. The second will help you overload the simulation. The final team will get you into the Zin mothership so you can get to Zinyak. Fair enough. All right, figure out who you want to help with the key and we can get you all loaded into the simulation. According to 
Pinsy's intel. The key needs to be taken to the old syndicate tower. The entrance to the system is in the loading dock. We will be driving the truck while you keep the Zin off us. After entering, Sid will be in charge of driving the key into the main computer hub, which will cause the simulation to begin destabilizing. Good luck. The key's loaded up. Climb on and make sure it doesn't get destroyed. Standard escort, I got it. Only if this fails, we could all die. He's a real downer sometimes. I'm serious. If we screw this up, we won't get another shot at bringing down the simulation, we won't create an opening into the Zen mothership, and we won't be able to locate and go after Zinyak himself. All right, I understand. Don't worry, this is gonna work, Kinsey. As long as the key doesn't get destroyed, like I said. It won't get destroyed, I promise. I do have a brake pedal, but why use it? What's the situation back there? Ride's a little bumpy. I'm sorry, but we didn't have time to pad the truck for safety. I wasn't criticizing, just saying. Field. I believe I can hack through the shield. All right, you heard Sid. Protect him and the key. No problem. It'll be just like that bit Matt and I did in Vatican City. Ah. How much longer, Sid? Please do not rush me. Unless you would like the field to overload and electrocute you all. Hold on, why you all? Only all of you would end up dead if it overloaded. I already shielded my exterior from the field's frequency before I began my hack. Hence, why it has taken me this long. Clever. Kind of a dick thing to do, mate. Sid, let's get it done. The shield is now down. All right, let's move. You guys gonna be all right? Take the key and go. We'll finish up here. Once you get inside, I'll be cut off from communication. So listen to Sid. Okay, not what I was expecting. I will harness the system's energy to fuel the power cells on the key. Yeah, you do that. Any day now, Sid. Get that thing moving. The energy flow is being regulated. Opening breakers should increase the power. Always a fucking catch. What's with there always being three things to destroy or turn on or whatever? Three is the optimal number for powering many different systems in Zinyak's simulations. It's not really an answer. Then would you believe it is actually just an arbitrary number that sounded good at the time to the system creator? Now that I believe. I am coming for you, Zinyak. Today, your simulations come to an end. And only I will remain. Uh, excuse me. You mean we? Do not ruin this moment for me. Uh, <laughs> should probably get out of here, right? That would be a good idea. Remember, Steelport's breaking down inside the simulation right now. Whatever you take with, I should be able to open portals into their personal nightmares. But don't worry, whatever comes through will be on your side. It's going to look a little weird in there. Just remember, that's normal. But, like, wait a minute, like how weird? whole place problems. Not sure. The data may get corrupted or it may simply reset. Either way, it should overload some of the Zin ship systems directly. So we could be doing all of this for nothing. Well, it's certainly going to mess with the Zin enough to give us our shot at taking out Zinya. But that I'm 99% positive. What about the other 1%? Just covering my bases in case something goes wrong. Kinsey didn't say anything about shit exploding. I knew she was holding out on me.
Okay, that's better. Activating the portal now, but it's going to take some time. Make sure the Zin don't destroy it while I establish the link. How is it that we always end up in situations like this? What, fighting against crazy enemy factions intent on trying to kill the Saints while causing mass amounts of destruction? In the process of saving ourselves and the people around us who don't get caught in the crossfire? Yeah, I was wondering that too. Actually, I've been defending shit while Kinsey works her hacking magic. They're now on your side. On to the next portal, then? Hold on. Someone's going to have to stay to make sure this one stays open. Pierce, this is all you. I am not sticking around with your crazy can people. Right. Just keep yourself alive. We'll see you when we're all out of here. The second portal is over by the arena. I thought you were exaggerating about Pierce fearing Saints marketing. You really think I could have made up something like that? Okay, good point. But to be honest, I'm more worried about what we're gonna find when Kinsey links up your portal. Actually, I'm rather curious about that too. But at least it'll be friendly. Hold on, you don't know? Well, to be fair, you had two parts of yourself in that simulation. I'm really not sure which one this will access. As long as it's not dozens of different versions of me, look, I have had more than enough of psychological introspection. Okay, this is it. Start clearing the area. I think I figured that one out. I'm trying to be helpful, you know. And I for one approve. Okay, I'm sorry. Spaceship, overhead! Easy. Kenzie, you're up. Starting linking sequence now. What do you think will happen to my younger self when this whole place crashes? I'm sure Kenzie saved her onto some computer on the ship. Oh, well, that's good. Are you really that worried about her? You know she isn't exactly real. Yeah, but she's kind of like having a younger sister around. Careful, don't break Kinsey's heart by saying that. Whatever, she has Asha to latch onto now. Good to be the president. Jesus, as if seeing veteran child wasn't enough. You gonna be okay with these guys? Yeah, I'll be fine. Boss, get going and open that last portal and then kick Zinyak's ass for me. Everything you say, Shondi. One more portal, right? Yep, and it's working. The whole system is working overtime just to keep from falling apart. So this last portal isn't gonna start pouring out annoyingly friendly people from that boring-ass town I was trapped in, right? What? Oh, God, no. You think I'd want to see that place any more than you would? I don't know, maybe you miss wearing that... Finish that last sentence and you'll be missing a few limbs when you wake up. And don't worry, I'm linking this last one to something special. Ooh, I love it when you get all evil genius on me. Soon, your mind will get trapped inside. So get moving! Shit, make sure the others get out too! 
already done. We were both close to exit. Just like Johnny Tommy. Did it work? We bought ourselves a window, but you gotta move fast. What's the plan? We're gonna kill a lot of aliens. I like it. To get to Zinyak's throne room, you'll need a spacesuit and some weapons for destroying the ship's outer defenses. The schematics show an armory not too far in. I'd head there and see what you can find. You heard the lady, let's move! Are you guys shooting at the ship? No, why? With all these explosions, either it's under attack or it's coming apart. There's a lot of power being rerouted to fixing what we did to the simulation. Guessing it's causing surges throughout the ship. So we're not blowing up? Well, I can't guarantee that. But most likely you're fine. It's very reassuring. So what are we hoping to find here? Anything that'll get us to Zinya. Or that'll help blow shit up. Yeah, that probably does a trick. Hey, sounds good to me. But do we know what that's gonna be? Hey, maybe it'll be a robot. A robot wouldn't help you in space. What you need is... Let me guess. Power. Actually, I was going to say a spacesuit and a really big gun. Wait, is that it? You should be coming up on the armory now. We see the door. Small problem, Kinsey. It's locked. Damn it. The door override is on a closed system. You're on your own for this one. Shit, let me try. All right, we'll keep the Zen off you. Just get that door open. What's going to happen when we find Zenya? We kill the bastard. I hope you have more of a plan than that. It's the only plan I need. Kinsey? <laughs> You'll never believe this. It's a robot, isn't it? No, Kinsey. It's power armor. <gasps> no way. This is what I'm talking about. Protection wire target. You got the touch! You got the touch! Time to finish this fight. Okay, now all you need to do is make it through the ship's infrastructure, take out all its defenses, and thereby clear a path for us to get to Zinyak. Oh, is that all? Easy enough? You pick the others up? Yep, everyone's on board. We'll be right behind you as you clear a path. You're coming up on the defense group. You could come for me, but you don't stand a chance. One shall stand, one shall fall. Why throw away your life so recklessly, Saint? That's a question you should ask yourself, Zinyak. Kenzie, how do I get into Zinyak's throne room? Honestly, I can't find a way to open it up. But don't worry about it, Kenzie. I got another plan. gonna miss these bonding sessions when I kill you? <laughs> Look at you. Mercutio to my Tybalt. Don't be too excited. Tybalt dies at the end. I'm surprised you knew that. I didn't. Kinsey told me over the radio. Uh, well, at least you're honest. Always. That way you know I'm not lying when I say I'm gonna rip your goddamn head off. You're adorable. Zinjai? Yes, Your Excellency. 
Is the Empire watching? Of course, Your Excellency. for the tip, but nothing I do can get past that shield. No ideas here. Those CIEs seem to be able to pass through unhindered. Perhaps throwing them back would work. Give it a try, but I'll need that shield down eventually. Very well. I will attempt to find the power sources generating the shield. Keep me posted. Glad to see you guys. Get the fuck away from the boss, assholes! Draw their fire! No problem! Now to get this fucking shield down. This changes nothing! Your whole empire is about to change. No one's coming to save you now, Zinyak! The 
the legacy of the Sin Empire will continue to live on. My death. Then your race will be shut the fuck up. Servant or what? Excellency, I'm Xinjai, your personal steward. All right, Xinjai, I need you to level with me. How technologically advanced are the Zen? In our experience, we are the most advanced culture in the known universe. Xinjai told a friend of mine that he could restore Earth. Was he lying? A half truth, your excellency. Earth has been atomized. There is no undoing that. However, time travel would allow you to see Earth again before its destruction. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time travel? Zinyak was fascinated with Earth culture. He made it a point to go back and build a menagerie of his favorite humans. Don't tease me, Your Excellency. Let's go on a field trip. When the novelty of shaping history wore off, the saints remembered the words of Zinjai. Is this all of them? It's hard to say, Your Excellency. Zinyak was a long-time collector. 